August is here, school has started, and it looks like the summer growing season is coming to an end. Time now to start thinking ahead to fall, right? right. This, is, of course, you know, is Cindy Shapton, the Crackpot Gardener, who always has great gardening tips for us. And today, our our friend Jody is going to let us plant some things for her fall garden. That's right. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jody. Okay, so what we thought we'd do today is Jody's already planted some summer squash. And I know you think that summer squash is pretty much over, right. but it's really not. If we plant it now, usually it's. It, you know, um, it's ready in just a, a few days, okay. actually, when you think about it. It's kind of like fast food in the yeah, garden. Yeah. Because if you read, here's yellow crookneck, mm -hmm. and if you read the back, look at the days till harvest. It says approximately, approximately 40. Yeah. So that means we'll add another week because the days start to get a little shorter in yes. September, October. But if we plant this now, she should be eating squash in September. Oh, I love it. So um, nice, fresh plant. So we're going to go ahead and plant some of that. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple Alrighty. of seeds. And what we're going to do now, with these, we're going to plant them a little deeper. Okay. And actually, the thing I do with these, I just take a put a, with a hole about an inch deep, mm -hmm. half inch to an inch, and uh -huh. I just put it in there. And One at it a up. time. Yep. I put two in there, sorry. That's okay, she'll have two plants. She could, <laughs> she could pick the strongest. Okay, okay. Put one there, uh -huh. and we'll put and one more. And it's that easy. Yeah, just about, you don't want it too deep, just about a half inch okay. or so. Okay, there we go. But just half. Yeah, and then just cover it up. Uh, and that's it. Uh huh. And then we're going to put a. Uh, I love your nice little creative recycling concoction here, which is just basically a spoon. But you said you can use a fork or knife, knife anything you plastic, know, and that's going to help you know yeah. what you planted there. When you have those potlucks, just clean up those utensils. Don't throw them away and exactly. use them in the garden for markers. I love that and idea. And that way, when things start coming up, you don't have to guess. Exactly. You I love know. it. Okay. Then, okay, now another thing you can grow that's a very short, in just in less than 30 days, we can have radishes. Ooh. And so, uh, and they happen to be a really great companion plant for squash. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and plant these here. So just plant them in the same bed that you yeah. plant the squash. Plant okay. them with the squash. All right. And so I'm going to give you a few seeds here. Okay. I'm going to take a few, and um, and we're just going to put them. You start right here. Okay. Or you, yeah, right there. Okay. Go ahead and put them in. Okay. We'll just kind of put them out there here. There we go. Pretty simple. And then we're just going to take a little bit of soil from the side uh -huh. and just cover them up. Maybe not too deep because they're not really huge seeds, but uh -huh. they're not tiny either. So don't worry. They'll come up. Give them about a quarter inch on the top of them, a half inch, something okay. like that. And then pat it down so you uh -huh. got good soil contact. Uh -huh. And then we're going to put it in one of our markers so that Jody's not surprised. Jody's does when those they come up, she's going to say, "Now, what was that?" Yes, <laughs> that's perfect. And that's it. And now here's another raised bed where we're going to plant some flowers and some vegetables. That's or some right. Herbs. Some herbs. Okay, and there flowers. we go. Okay. There's no sense of not having some color and some yeah. something pretty to pick and in the fall. So we've planted two. We're going to plant calendulas. Oh, I love those. And what do you have? I have antique nest. Nasturiums? Nasturgiums, that's right. Nasturgiums. Yes. Now, both of these are edible. They're oh. both herbs. Yeah. They can use the flowers in salads. You can yeah. use these flowers as well. And um, and so we're going to plant these and, oh. and uh, All right. get them in this long, and nice, so long when, race bed. And so how long will we, start to see, when will we start to see some of them? Probably grow? within five to seven days, we'll okay. see them start to come up. Uh -huh. And then within about 30 to 40 days, we'll start to see them coming in bloom. Oh. And both of these plants love cool weather. So uh -huh. that's why we wait to plant them. We plant them in early spring, uh -huh. and then we plant them again now for fall. Sounds good. And again, we're just going to keep them watered, keep the seeds moist. And I love what Jody has done here. She has problems with rabbits. Uh huh. <laughs> There's always yeah. something that wants to eat everything. So she's done a really clever thing. Yeah, here. and so she has this chicken wire that comes up, and she can totally surround her garden. So when those, you know, new seedlings come up yes. and look really appetizing. You know, she's going to be able she's to ready. protect them. Because from what I understand, a rabbit got to them one year, didn't it? <laughs> yes. And so <laughs> the rabbits. All great ideas. Yeah, I love just it. Just wrap that around there. So it's, simple. And it keeps the rabbits out. Keeps the rabbits out. Cindy, yeah. as always, we thank you so much for these great tips. We want to again thank Jody for letting us use her gardens. And yes. we'll definitely put all of Cindy's information on our website at nichechannel5.com. Happy growing.